Hello and welcome to Queenie's Card of the Week for the week of November 26th. Well, we've got some cute little cards for this week. How did you guys survive Turkey Day? Or not Turkey Day? Or protest Turkey Day? Or uh, Tofurky Day? Anyway, I hope that you got through. I know being with family can be both good and bad and sometimes ugly, but I hope you got through. I did. It was good. So, onward and upward, and we move forward. So this week we have, uh, I will have a tarot card and a fairy's oracle card. The tarot card that I pulled is the King of Cups. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the court cards. Kings had developed mastery over their suit. So, the king has developed mastery over the suit of cups. What does that mean? Emotions, intuition, dreams, vision, romance, love. So, so uh, coming into this week, you are uh, the energy around this week is is encouraging you to to own your mastery over your emotions. That doesn't mean control them. That means acknowledge them. That doesn't mean trying to stuff them down. That means acknowledge them, acknowledge your intuition, pay attention to your dreams, uh, maybe do a dream journal, write down, write down the things that you're dreaming about. Um, but the King of Cups, he has, he has developed mastery over his emotions, over his intuition. He's very comfortable with it. He's very, he's very gallant about it. I mean, I know in some schools of thought, the, the King of Cups is like a new, is like a, a romantic relationship, taking another, taking a, going to another level, going to a lo another level of mastery of love, but also uh, intuition. So uh, pay attention to your hunches, pay attention to, to what your gut is telling you this week, because because you could be getting very important information. Pay attention to your dreams because they are giving you important information. Cups is also about water. So anything that has to do with water and flow and um, like your emotions flowing. Don't dam it up. Can't dam it up this week. So what, what you can do if something comes up and it feels really intense is you can write it out. You can write it out. You can dance it out. You can stomp it out. Whatever you need to do to get, let the emotion flow through you so that it doesn't get stuffed back in and do weird stuff, which is what happens sometimes. So the King of Cups is to start, and I'm trying to tie the two cards together like I usually do, and I think maybe if I start talking about the card, it'll tie them together somehow. Okay, oh, oh, there it goes, boom, light bulb. So we've got the King of Cups, and this is about really acknowledging the emotions that are coming up and developing mastery over them, okay? Then we have the Fairy's Oracle card, the Collective of Pixies. Okay, so the story behind this card is in, in the story of these cards, Pixies are the ones who make the world go round. And they do it by dancing. And they undertake their duty joyfully. Not Judy doyfully, their duty joyfully. Have you ever tried to say duty gench? I mean Judy Dench. <laughs> Have you ever? It's very difficult. Once you say it wrong once, it's very difficult not to say it wrong again. Anyway, back to the collection, collective of pixies. So here these pixies are. They are, they know they have work to do. So here it is. You know you have emotional work to do in order to develop mastery over your emotions and really anchor in that King of Cups thing. You know you have work to do before you're trusting what your heart is telling you. So the Collective of Pixies is suggesting that even though it's hard work, undertake the duty of that hard work joyfully. Find a way to play with it. Find a way to 
not necessarily have to take it so seriously, but also allow that to move. And again, this could be dancing. I mean, we've, I've had, there's two messages of dancing in this. So uh, I suggest that maybe you get some music that you really, really love and just move to it however you need to move to it. If you only want to sit in your chair and chair dance, there's, you know, there's good, there's good movement in chair dancing too. So um, what this tells me is that this week is going to be about some emotional movement and you're going to have to, and some of it might be uncomfortable, but you need to undertake this duty joyfully because it feels like there's a breakthrough coming that this old stuff, this, these old emotions that you've been stuffing down and dragging around for a long, long time, it, it just, you don't need to do it anymore. So this week you will find them coming out to be looked at and let go of because they're supposed to move. There's a reason motion is in the word emotion. So King of Cups, Developing mastery over your emotions, your dreams, your vision, your intuition, all the elements of water. I mean, all the, all the attributes of water and flow. Very fluid. That in, some, in some books, they call him the interior decorator of the tarot. He has some flair. But this week is about using that, using that color, that flair, that, that allowing your creativity to flow, allowing your emotions to flow. Things are bubbling up to the surface, being able to look at them and not shove them back down and just go, oh, that's interesting that that's there. Let's dance around this like the collective of pixies to keep your world going around. So we've got the king of cups and we've got the collective of pixies. We've got Developing mastery over your emotions is going to take some fancy footwork this week. So I want you to have a wonderful week and we'll see you next week. And now I'm off to Facebook Live because it's exciting. Who knows what I'll say there? Probably similar stuff. Have a good one. Love you.